All right, hey, what's up guys? Hole seven here. Typically go about six rings here. We're gonna do some kind of counter curl method. Maybe just keep off the power just a tad. You see, we don't get really a headwind. If we did, we'd use a really good ball. But since we can kind of get through on a budget, that's all I'm gonna do. You know, for all the tournaments where I can get through on a budget, it just lets me accumulate those balls. Now granted, if I screw up a shot, you're better off not screwing up a shot and using a better ball. So that's usually what you want to use as your decision making. But here you see we're still within max. When I come at this like this, it usually breaks a little left. So with it breaking left, you can see how we're, we're going to do with our alignment here. And just a little bit short, but you can see that adjustment that I did using the max, or you know, maybe I should have went to the max because I think I did do a little bit more six and a quarter. But you can see that I just put a fraction too much backspin. So when you do get the max club, keep in mind it's gonna land a little softer, might not roll out. Plus, I had maybe just a slight headwind, just the slightest of a headwind, and that factored in on it rolling out. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, and hopefully you can get that one to drop with just a little bit more precision and, you know, mastering that technique. So good luck. I'll see you guys on the next.